Welcome back to Project Wilson and today we're going to figure out how we're going to vertically support this header piece as well as hopefully get the entire front deck finished and complete and the recessed foot control tray in. So stay tuned. We talked a little bit about this in the last video but it's for whatever reason not doing too hot in the in the ratings. We got a few new parts here. We got two 12 inch tires. So we're upgrading from eight inches to 12 inches. The trolling motor, uh, the G-Force troll jacket. And these were the two items that I kind of asked you guys about as far as, you know, your opinions on how well they worked. So right over here, we have the 27, Group 27 uh, AGM battery, Optima, pretty expensive battery. It was around the two 220 to 260 range somewhere in there and these boat buckles and I did have somebody comment on my Instagram Letting me know that hey, man, I had these on my boat for like less than a year and they rusted out. So I Don't know has anyone else had that, you know issue with these because if they have then We're we're gonna be returning these but let's go ahead and get project Wilson outside um, We're gonna need to cut some aluminum sheeting to fit in here that in and then the new sheet that will go on top will be the same height as the original subfloor right reuse like see these were original to the boat and if I didn't have anything else to use I would totally be ripping off this carpet and then reusing this aluminum sheeting <laughs> So I pull these out and then I was like, completely confused on what I was doing.
There we go. Oh man, that came out good. Beautiful. So I can grab, hopefully one of these, two, block them off. Yes sir, sir it will. And yes, we're gonna be using counter sinks uh, to attach this piece as well. Mainly because, you know, this is my deep stow would mean the compartment's actually gonna come all the way back up to this bulkhead. So you're gonna be able to, you know, if you stuck your head in there, you're gonna be able to see everything up there. So we're gonna have to cover this up, make it look all nice and pretty, which is no big deal, but using the uh, countersink rivets help you do that a little bit better than your regular standard rivets. Wham. Looks good. We got it supported up front. We got it supported in the middle. We have it supported on this rib. We have it connected with another layer of a uh, 090 below it. So actually that might be 06. That might be 06. Either one. It's one of those two. So here we are again, uh, connecting two more pieces of angle. For some reason, this is like probably my least favorite thing to do during a boat build. You know, it's not that it's difficult or anything. It just takes so much time. Recessed foot control tray is in, it's framed out. We got mo the majority of the front deck framed out that I can do at the moment. We have all the vertical supports in. They are just, you know, loosely in right now. The reason I haven't secured any of those in yet is because ideally you're gonna wanna use this one and a half inch angle on the bottom side of all of these supports. But a few videos ago, I was explaining to you guys how I was almost running out of aluminum. So. I'm not going to go that route. We're going to do something different for that, which I'll show you guys in an upcoming video. This is when you start really getting an idea of how this whole thing is going to turn out. This is definitely one of the fun stages in the build, seeing all this come together and how everything's fitting and looking. As always, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit that little bell thing so it notifies you every time that I make an upload. But most importantly, thank you to everybody that's following along with this build. Thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.